Jen St. Dennis back from business in Vancouver. Uh, we talked yesterday uh, in the news, we heard yesterday in the news about the U.S. normalizing relations with Cuba. And uh, we found out that Canada played a part in that. Now Canada may benefit, or at least one company may benefit, Jen. Yeah, that's right. Yesterday, that really historic announcement about uh, yeah the U.S. Uh, starting to normalize diplomatic relationships with Cuba. President Obama saying that it would be now be easier for Americans to travel to Cuba, and also that he would push to lift the economic embargo that has been in place since the early 1960s. And Canadian co companies do operate in Cuba. We've kind of had the country to ourselves because of this uh, embargo from the U.S. Now, one of those companies mm -hmm. is called Sherit International. They're a mining and energy company. They operate. A large uh, nickel mine in Cuba. They're also the largest independent energy company in that country. Um, and so yesterday they actually saw their stock rise 36 percent just on the news of this announcement. So it's expected that if trade relations do resume there could be a lot more investment flowing to Cuba and companies like Share It that have been pen penalized by U.S. legislation that prevented officers and directors uh, including the company's CEO from entering the U.S. could also change. Now of course there's a flip side because Canadian companies uh, would also be uh, facing a lot more competition. Now, they say that they do have a leg up because they've been operating in the, in the country, they have the contacts, they know the country. Uh, but, you know, Canada has enjoyed this kind of special relationship with Cuba for many years, and mm. that could change in the future. All right, thanks for that, Jen St. Dennis right. from Business in Vancouver. You can get more business news online at biv.com.